Ibrahim says, please shed some light on zodiac personality traits. Not horoscope that predicts future, but zodiac personality that categorizes people according to their zodiac. Most Muslim youth now uh, follow this, not as a future prediction on people's lives, but as a way of understanding their personality. Kindly research it, uh, how it's used by the youth and shed some light. Wallahi, Akhi, uh, Ibrahim, I have no time to search for this uh, thing. I don't have time to do re research, but if I understand your question, there are 12 zodiacs, as they say, and they claim that the month or the zodiac you're born under has impact on your personality. Now, the mushriks say that it has impact on your future. So if you're a scorpion or a bull or a donkey or whatever zodiacs you, you are, uh, uh, born under, then this impacts your future. So you will have this and that happening to you in the month of December, in February, etc., according to your uh, a study of your zodiac. And this is total shirk. This is claiming to know the unseen and to know the ghayb, which only Allah knows. And it is illogical that if on this particular day, five million people were born, it's illogical that five million people would have the same fate and the same prediction of their future. It's totally illogical. Likewise, claiming that because you were born under the particular zodiac, this means that your personality is a soft-spoken person uh, uh, that is um, easily uh, touched and people can take advantage of your kindness is this and that and people believe this imagine that all five million who were born at the same day on the same day at the same time must share the same uh, uh, treats as they say this is illogical it is un-islamic and to believe in it it would be like fortune telling and the people don't only stop here they come and tell you that, okay, through your handwriting, we can predict your personality. Through your fingerprints, we can predict your personality. Through the way you choose your clothes and the decoration of your home, all of this is part of fortune telling and soothsaying, and it's totally prohibited. Only people with low IQ and little intellectual powers would believe in such nonsense.